Hi, I'm Tom Herbert, the business editor of Accounting Web. We're here at Sage Summit and I'm delighted to be joined by Kriti Sharma, who is VP of Bots and Automation for Sage. Hi, Kriti. Hi there, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. So we've been hearing a lot about PEG, the uh, new finance assistant from Sage. Could you tell me a little bit about PEG, please? So PEG is a personal assistant for every business owner in the country and around the world, actually. So. PEG um, looks after your business, takes care of your finances, business admin, even gives you advice sometimes on how much you're spending on various things like travel, etc. And also inform you about events that might happen, invoices that are overdue. It's just a very special thing about PEG. It's not a human. It's artificial intelligence. Uh, and it's a personal assistant. It has a British accounting humor. Um, so yeah, and users are loving it. There are 20,000 people already using the bot to run their business. Okay, we've been hearing a lot about artificial intelligence in the world of accountancy. Um, what sort of other, we've, we've had PEG, what other forms uh, is artificial intelligence taking in the accountancy space? So there's a couple of different ways of looking at it. One is automation and AI that happens behind the scenes and you never get to see it. This is smart systems connecting to each other in a better way. Or, in the world of accounting, one example would be to code the expenses in the right category with the right GL, and that's AI in action. There's other, another kind, which is when AI interacts with humans in the front end. PEG is one example, similar to Siri, Alexa, Cortana, but more defined for a specific use case, which is accounting, payments, payroll, HR kind of systems. And um, these are getting quite popular. Um, and in terms of interactions with humans, they're very useful because these are simple conversations. Relationship of people with accounting is meant to be simple. You go to your accountant, you have a conversation, you get some information. That's human nature, one-to-one. -one. And you know, when we get, got into the online, web, and digital era, it all became the same experience for everyone. With AI, we can make it personalized, one-to-one -one again. And it's a user's choice, how they want to interact with their software, with their data. They might want to use a mobile app, they might want to go to the website for more detailed reporting. When they're driving, they might just want to use voice, uh, what's my customer's address. You know? And um, at some point, they might want to use a quick message and ask, hey, so what are my big tasks for today? And send a quick message to on, on chat. All of this is completely possible. Excellent. So, I mean, just in terms of practical uses here, if I'm an accountant at a paper company in Slough, let's say, um, what can I use PEG for? So, I'll give you two views of it. One is the actual business owner or an employee in a larger company and you, you know, one of the things we all have to do is create expenses, capture all the receipts, send invoices. You can very quickly send a message to the bot and say, hey, I spent 10 pounds on coffee, uh, breakfast with a client and here's a receipt, here's a photo. Just like you'd send it to a friend, you know, it's a normal conversation on Facebook Messenger. And it goes straight into your back-end system and it reconciles, it goes into the right, op your right systems with the right information. That happens very, very quickly, right? Um, you don't even realize that's what you're doing. You think you're chatting with a friend. And um, another example would be if you want to find out who owes me money, what's overdue, which payments, you know, and then even get send payment reminders. These are day-to-day -day admin tasks that people really want to get rid of, get them automated. From an accountant's perspective, it's great for them because they don't have to deal with shoeboxes of receipts anymore because people can get that done. They can get simple, quick information. Which of my clients have filing deadlines this week? Do any of them have a birthday? I might want to wish that, right? And also get information about tax submissions, returns, any tasks that are due. And it works in natural language. So you ask, what are my tasks for today? Oh, how about tomorrow? And you don't have to repeat the whole thing. So it just gets the context like humans getting pretty advanced. Final question from me. Um, we've obviously seen great advances in the use of AI and bots in the accountancy world. Um, what are you predicting next? What's coming down the pipeline? So, I actually am a big believer in, in physical robots. I think in a few years' time, it's not even about physical robots. I believe it's, it's information exchange in multiple forms. Just like with friends, with people, we sometimes meet them in person, other times we send them an email, and sometimes we just send them a quick message on WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. And you might want to you know, interact with them over a mobile app, and accountancy is gonna become just a part of our daily lives, you know? It's just, just the way you run your life. It's not a special 
allocated time task because it's part of our everyday life so you will just continue to do your tasks while you're living your life and you don't even realize anything special that is happening the data will be all interconnected so that is that is exciting maybe who knows also robo colleagues in future so the next person you hire or next role you hire for in your team might not be human fantastic right thank you very much Kriti uh, we're off to enjoy the delights of the Sage Summit. For more information, visit accountingweb.co.uk. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye.